two-faced. What Trump is saying about Netanyahu behind closed doors Donald Trump and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu seemed to get along during the former's presidency, but the loyalty-obsessed ex-president is no longer feeling the love. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than the story from insiders is that 2024's most indicted candidate wants to go public with his viewpoint. According to insiders, he's been talking to his inner circle about coming forward with a public statement recommending Netanyahu's impeachment. Trump has been called out. For the statements he's already made regarding Israel and the terror attacks carried out by Hamas, but this time, at least, he seems aware enough of the potential effects of his opinion to run it by his PR folks first. That's still no guarantee it won't pop out of his mouth the next time he's at a rally giving a stream of consciousness. Free-flowing rant. In fact, Trump seems to be trying to walk back his public criticism of Netanyahu, posting to his social media site a pair of hashtags, hashtag I stand with Israel, and hashtag I stand with Bibi, Friday afternoon. The posts follow a morning rant in which he claimed that the attack would not have occurred if he was still president, or, in Trump's words, if the 2020 election hadn't been Stalin, sick, and blamed President Joe Biden. What he's saying in private may not match. The Times of Israel reported, Trump, who was twice impeached himself, has axed multiple close aides whether he should begin publicly calling for Netanyahu's ouster but has thus far been told that doing so would not be appropriate while Israel is still counting the dead from the massive Hamas assault. While Netanyahu hasn't reacted to Trump's criticism, Communications Minister Shlomo Kari did respond, calling it shameful that a former president abets propaganda and disseminates things that wound the spirit of Israel's fighters and its citizens. Why is Trump so upset at Netanyahu these days? It seems to be because the foreign leader isn't opposing the current president and supporting Trump's conspiracy theories. About the 2020 election, NBC reports. He's pissed off because Bibi praised Biden and the Biden White House for being supportive, said a former Trump advisor, referring to Netanyahu by his nickname. Trump's own party isn't really happy with the verbal attacks, either. Watch his former Vice President Mike Pence's comments below. Steph Basil covers politics and theocracy, always aiming for a world free from extremism and authoritarianism. Follow Steph on Twitter at I'm Just a Steph. Stephanie Basil Steph Basil is a newswriter who covers politics and theocracy, always aiming for a world free from extremism and authoritarianism. Follow Steph on Twitter at I'm Just a Steph. Sign up for all of her stories to be delivered to your inbox here. Latest posts.